from Disney's Polynesian Resort it's the last day. I'm up and early. I'm getting Genie Plus, getting lightning lanes are really what's been getting me up. But it is just eight o'clock and I'm gonna go try the Tonga Toast here at Kona Cafe. I heard it's really good and while I'm here, why not? So I actually mobile ordered it. There are several locations on property that you can actually mobile order from restaurants. Sometimes you have to be staying there. I saw that last night <clears throat> um, to actually order from certain restaurants. But this morning I'm here anyway and I don't know when I'll have the opportunity to try this again. So I'm gonna go over to Kona, grab the Tonga Toast and enjoy that. And then my plan is to hop on the monorail and go to the contemporary. Um, I'm on the hunt for this like sun visor. The, the girls are sleeping. I don't know what time they got in last night, but uh, unfortunately I had a headache, a migraine. I suffer from those and uh, just, I needed an early night. So the girls were, the girls just took their time and they went to go party. So let's go get breakfast. It's right here. That was easy. Here is the famous Tonga toast. And this thing is like, I don't know, two inches tall. <laughs> this is crazy. It came with a side of, I think, strawberry compote or something like that. Um, so yeah, let's dig in. Okay, I like the toast. I don't like the compote because it's cold. I mean, to be completely honest, is it the best French toast I've ever had? No. Is it the worst? No. I give it like a five or six out of ten. The coating's really nice. It's just like super fluffy. Like, it just tastes like white bread in the middle. Okay. So after <clears throat> tasting it with the banana, the banana is better. Now it goes up to like seven out of ten. I'd really like for it to have more banana. I didn't realize it was in there and I really like that. So I would say get rid of this strawberry. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, but a banana compo and extra bananas in. Now we're talking. It actually, it actually also came with a side of bacon. The $17, so it's a little expensive and I probably definitely could have shared this with somebody, but everyone's asleep <laughs> and I'm gonna go venture, so. Unfortunately, some of it's not going to be eaten, but the banana part is clutch. That's, that's, that's where the money is. The monorail will depart momentarily. Thank you. There's nothing like an entire monorail park to yourself. <laughs> We're on our way to the Contemporary. Do some light shopping and just enjoy it. I love going to the Contemporary. Um, we're at the Grand Flow right now, and then the monorail kind of takes you around the loop, so on our way. came over here to the Grand Flow. I haven't seen it in a couple of years, so I wanted to visit and say hi. I'm on the monorail loop, why not? So we're gonna check out um, the store, and then there's actually a walking trail from Grand Flow to the um, Poly. I think it's like a five minute walk, and Kelly is waiting for me on the beach, so I was like, instead of getting on the monorail loop and stopping at Magic, stopping at Contemporary, stopping at the TCC, it's gonna take a while for me to get home, so. It's beautiful outside and might as well just get the steps in, you know? Disney's all about walking.
All right, so I have a hat on. It's not the hat that I wanted, but this hat has been calling me the entire trip. It's a Nike like dry fit hat. And uh, as I mentioned, I am coming back very soon and it's hot and it's a breathable fabric. So I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm just gonna get it. So I broke my one souvenir rule. Sorry, babe. <laughs> That's just what Disney does to you. Yeah, also got a little keychain. I don't know if you can see him. It's a little Mickey, put him on my backpack because I'm a child at heart. Just absolutely beautiful day. It's Sunday, so it's kind of quiet. The Polly and the Magic Kingdom fairies going back and forth. So yeah, this is what peace and bliss looks like. Some time later. It has been several hours since I last showed my face. It is 11.45 and we have finally made it to Disney's Animal Kingdom. I have stacked multiple lightning lanes so we should have an awesome wild time. In the wilderness. In the wilderness. So we are uh, about to go through security, tap in, and the first stop, as always with every Animal Kingdom, is Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks location here. Um, because coffee is definitely needed. So, here we go. Hello. Hi. There we go. What'd you get? I got a iced chai latte with pumpkin foam. Oh, girl, very you fall, feeling spicy. You feeling fallish. Mm -hmm. Real fall. It's 92 degrees outside. I know, it's so good. <laughs> All right, taste test. I'm good at tea. And she it's got chai. the uh, huge one. It's chai with pumpkin. Very nice. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the opening. Touch it. Rub it.
We're in M. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't take it to August 20th. We waited a long time because of the stupid COVID. Yeah. So in Canada, it's hard. Put it to the screen. Um, first, we need to find the compatible match of your genetic material with the genetic material of one of the avatar bodies that we already have. Once we do that, you'll be able to link to that avatar and uh, fly. So we are leaving Pandora. It is 2.43 and we are going to go to the safari. Emma has now left us. She had an earlier flight than any of us, so. Emma, we miss you. It was awesome having you. So we're enjoying the lovely trek to Africa. Jump on the safari and uh, go from there. They can go for months at a time without having a meal. Sometimes they'll hold their mouths open. They do that to stay cool. Same way dogs can. One more down on the left again. They're also called Watusi cattle after the tribe that first domesticated them. And they do have long prehensile tongues, just like the okapi in the forest, which means they can grasp onto those leaves from those trees out here to eat them. And they do eat almost all day long. And a group of giraffes, like this is called the Tower of Giraffes. They have those big ears too, which they use to stay cool by flapping them like a fan. By flapping their ears, they stay up to 15 degrees cooler. And then they get that pink color during the first couple of years of their life from their diet of brine shrimp. So it is the shrimp that'll give them a pink color. They have all that dried up mud all over their skin to protect them from the sun. And a group like that's called a crash of rhinos. And these are full grown adult Nigerian dwarf goats. So they don't get much bigger than that. Okay, I'm gonna have a little hurt of this. Kelly, please go. But we're gonna head on out of the reserve. What was the favorite thing that you saw on the safari, Megal? My favorite thing was the zebra dazzle. Oh, that's cute. I know, it's so cute. The best thing I learned today. That's what you learned today? Dazzle. A group? Yes. A, a group, group of zebras, zebras are called oh, a dazzle. Smart <laughs> Can I get one? Yeah.
You have mustard pickled onions with the mustard pickled seeds, multi-grain cracker with a Spanish torta chip. All right, so for the bread service, I'm starting with the bread on the bottom is inspired from Brazil. It's a cheesy Brazilian bread called Pondi Cajun. Mm. The middle chip is inspired by India, which is gonna be a cracker papadon. The one on the top is inspired by Thailand. It's a milk curry loaf homemade bread that we have. Sauces is a coconut curry, a guava, and a ginger pear chutney. And then the cheeses, this one is gonna be the queso frisco with a dolce leche caramel sauce. This one is similar to a brie, brie cheese. It's gonna be um, the Cambridge Hill Farms cheese with the fig top and all underneath. This one is inspired from Spain. It's called a truffle codoro cheese with a honeycomb underneath. This one is a duca encrusted goat cheese with a ginger pear chutney sauce on the bottom, Spanish torta with the multi-grain pack. Okay. Oh, yeah. I know we didn't do a lot of like meals out. <laughs> so we just got done with Nomad Lounge. Kelly had to buy my brother-in-law, her husband, a souvenir. So that's what she just did. <laughs> oh, you got a pen? Um. <laughs> They didn't have the hero pen, so she goes, you want happy birthday? I'm celebrating her first visit. Disclaimer, this is not Kelly's first visit. I, I believe this is your 10th visit. Yeah. Oh my God, that's hilarious. All right, well, we're gonna last ride of the batch in the weekend. Let's go get that done. I'm gonna go. Time travel commencing in T minus 10 seconds and counting. This is Seeker. Listen up. We've got to get in, grab the Aquanodon, and get out before the asteroid hits. Let's roll! <sighs> Had a wonderful time. Girls definitely made it special. I'm gonna end it here. But Disney World, I will see you very soon. And when I come back, I'll be back with my husband. So stay tuned. Uh, thanks for the watch. Like it. And uh, Disney World coming for you again.